Today, Math Heroes! Welcome to another fantastic day! We are getting closer to the final leg of your amazing Mathematics 5 training. Everything that you have learned and will be learning in all our episodes will be put to good use as you continue your journey here in the Math Universe. I am Sir Ike, the Professor, and this is the Mathematics 5! Math Heroes, for today's lesson, we will learn how to visualize division of fractions and division of simple fractions and whole numbers by a fraction and vice versa. Let's refresh our minds and recollect some mathematical fundamentals. Math Heroes, let's begin our day with the Super Driller! Hello Math Heroes, I am Super Driller, your review hero. You need to pass my level by answering all my questions before proceeding to the next drill. Are you ready? Let's go! For today's Super Drill task, you need to mentally find the product of the following fractions. You have 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. 1 half times 3 fourths equals n. The answer is 3 eighths. Number 2. 4 sixths times 3 fifths equals n. The answer is 2 fifths. Number 3. 4 tenths times 3 tenths equals n. The answer is 3 over 25. Number 4. 5 over 5 times 8 over 9 equals n. The answer is 8 over 9. Number 5. 9 over 9 times 12 over 12 equals n. The answer is 1. Did you get all the right answers? Great! Math Heroes, see you on your next drill. Math Math in a day! Math Heroes, you truly are amazing. You can still remember your previous superpower as you successfully multiplied the fractions given by Super Driller. This time, let's continue to prove your worth to the mystery man and unfold some of the interesting secrets behind the creation of the math universe. Here is Super Math to take you on yet another journey. I have traveled across the galaxy with the mission to tell stories. Math heroes, for today's adventure, we will unfold the thrilling revelations of the mystery man. The mystery man couldn't believe at how the math heroes answered all the given trials. This showed him the math hero's dedication in proving themselves worthy of the title. With disbelief and anger in his eyes, he left another set of scroll of trials and continued watching from afar. Math heroes, what are Mystery Man's plans? And what are the trials enclosed in that scroll? Gear up, let's find out and may the force be with you. Math heroes, I'm sensing something is not right. But we will continue your superpower training. As mentioned earlier, we will visualize division of fractions and divide fractions and mixed numbers. Now, what is division of fractions? Dividing a fraction by another fraction is the same as multiplying the fraction by the reciprocal. When we reverse or invert the fractions, we call it reciprocal. Now, what are the steps? Step 1. Invert or reverse the fraction of the divisor. Step 2. Multiply the numerators and denominators. Step 3. Simplify the fractions if necessary. Math heroes, this time, let's open Mystery Man's scroll of trials. Super Driller, give us his first trial. Math heroes, what do you think is the Mystery Man up to? Hmm, anyway, here's what he left for you. The first trial is dividing a fraction by a fraction. What is the quotient if you divide one-third by one-half? Math heroes, I'll send you back now to the professor. 
Math, math in a day. There you go, math heroes. I wonder what mystery man is up to. Hmm. Now going back, let's plan out how to solve this trial. To solve this problem, we will use division of fraction. So our mathematical sentence will be 1 third divided by 1 half equals n. As mentioned earlier, to divide fractions, inverse the divisor. Math heroes, in math, the inverse fraction is called the reciprocal. Since we inverse the divisor, 1 half now becomes 2 over 1. Then, change the operation to multiplication and multiply the dividend to the divisor. So that gives us a new mathematical equation of 1 third times 2 over 1 equals n. Now, we can multiply directly. 1 times 2 equals 2 and 3 times 1 equals 3. Our final answer is 2 thirds. Math heroes, another way of solving this problem is to use your creativity in visualizing numbers. In multiplying fractions using models, it can be represented by a square or a rectangle. Divide the rectangle or square into equal parts according to the fractions given. The part of the whole representing the product is the region that has been double shaded. To visualize the answer of 1 third divided by 1 half equals n, follow these steps. Step 1. Look at the denominators of the fractions. They are 3 and 2. The denominator in the dividend, which is 3, will be the number of parts we will create through drawing vertical columns. Meanwhile, the denominator of the divisor, which is 2, will be the number of parts we will produce through horizontal rows. Step 2. Draw a rectangle and divide the rectangle based on the number of horizontal and vertical lines mentioned earlier. Since we need to produce three parts, we will create two vertical columns. Now, take a look at the rectangle. We draw two vertical lines to divide the rectangle into three parts. This time, we will shade one part to represent one third. Now, we will divide the rectangle into two parts by creating a horizontal line. Since the rectangle is divided into two parts, we will shade the other part to represent one half. Our rectangle now looks like this. Step 3. Count all regions that have been shaded with color yellow. There are two regions shaded with yellow. That will be our numerator. Now, we count all the regions shaded with orange. There are three. Those three regions will now become our denominator. Therefore, our answer is two-thirds. Step four, reduce the answer whenever possible. Two-thirds is already in its simplest form. Super Driller, show us the next trial. Hello, math heroes. I'm back to give you the next trial from the scroll. Are you ready? Fantastic! This time, he wants you to divide a fraction by a whole number. Find the quotient of 3 and 1 8. Good luck, math heroes! Math, math in a day! Thank you, Super Driller! Math heroes, let's do this! To answer 3 divided by 1 8 equals n, we will first rename the whole number 3. As you all know, to rename the whole number 3, we will put a denominator which is 1. Therefore, our new mathematical equation is 3 over 1 divided by 1 8 equals n. This time, we will inverse the divisor which is 1 8. The reciprocal of 1 8 is 8 over 1 and change the operation from division to multiplication. That gives us 3 over 1 times 8 over 1 equals n. Following the rules of multiplication, we will multiply directly the numerators and the denominators. 3 times 8 equals 24 and 1 times 1 equals 1. Therefore, our answer is 24 over 1. Last step is to simplify. Since 24 has a denominator which is 1, our final answer is 24. To check if our answer is correct, let's solve using models. From the equation 3 divided by 1 8 equals n, let's first draw a rectangle. To represent 1 8, this rectangle will be divided into 8 equal parts. Now, we have a rectangle with 8 parts. 
But since we need to divide 3 rectangles, we add another 2 rectangles, each divided into 8 equal parts as well. Now, let's count all the parts we made. Each rectangle has 8 equal parts. Since there are 3 rectangles, 8 times 3 equals 24. So our final answer is 24. Fantastic job, math heroes! You've made me proud again by learning another superpower skills. Now, can you still remember the techniques in solving fractions using division method? Let's find out with the math-tastic hero who loves to wonder. It's your favorite wonder hero, the Wonder Woman! Hello, math heroes! I heard you're all doing well. I wonder if you have mastered the skills. Can you still remember how to visualize division of fractions and the steps in solving division of fractions? Hmm, let's see. Division of fractions is a simple operation. You will be surprised to know that division of one fraction by another fraction is a process of multiplication of fractions. To divide a whole number by a fraction, multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. To find the reciprocal of a fraction, reverse the position of the numerator and the denominator. Fractions are well understood if it is represented by a circle or rectangular shape. It is easier to visualize such as halves, thirds, and quarter or those denominators that has more factors such as eighths and twelfths. Using fraction strip, it will help you visualize fractions. Math heroes, it's now time for our mathastic trivia. Did you know that fractions can also be applied in the map of the Philippines? The Philippines is divided into three parts, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Luzon is one-third of the Philippines. Luzon and Visayas are two-thirds of the Philippines. If you include Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, that will be represented as 3 over 3 or one whole of the Philippines. Now you know! Great job! However, I have been wondering what the mystery man is up to. Hmm. Anyway, see you again! And remember, never lose your sense of wonder! Math Math in a Day! Math heroes, this time, let's test your skills with a math-tastic hero who loves to challenge you to do better. It's time for the lightning task with Brainstorm. Let's begin the lightning thinking. Ready your pen and paper and answer the storm lightning task. Give the equation of the following models or illustrations of the division of fractions. Select your answer from the given choices. Number 1 The answer is A. 2 divided by 1 8 is equal to 16. Number 2 The answer is D. 7 divided by 1 half is equal to 14. Number 3. The answer is B. 6 divided by 1 third is equal to 18. Did you get all the right answers? If you did, that's great! Math Heroes! See you in your next quest. Math Math in a Day! Math Heroes, you did not only learn a brand new superpower technique today, but you continuously keep your place here in the math universe. I am sure the mystery man sees how good you are in solving mathematical problems. This time, let's reward the most dedicated math hero here in the math universe. Let's have it from the Bad Math. After searching every corner of the universe, I present you the math hero of the day. James Ethan Trinidad, 
Grade 5 student of San Agustin Elementary School, Division of Hagonoy, Bulacan. Show us your true power by sending your picture while watching our Mathtastic 5 episodes in our Facebook page. Just search Mathtastic 5 or post your photos with a hashtag Mathtastic Hero and be featured in our next Mathtastic 5 episodes. Watch out for updates on the social media pages of DepEd TV channel. I am BatMath and I will find you. Do you have what it takes to prove yourself as a math superhero? Are you the next super kid who will conquer the math universe? Catch all our episodes and get all the superpowers you need. We will wait for you. I am Sir Ike, the professor. Math Classic 5, assemble!